Hello, it's me Justre. Before we start the video I slowed down the AI voice so that some of you can understand. If it's still too fast please inform me by using the comments in this video. So let's start with the brand new Shikigami that came out this May 26. His name is Hoshiguma Doji. He has the role of a ninja and mage mixed together, meaning he will have high mobility and will deal magical damage. His skill set is very difficult to understand at first so let me tell you how his skill works briefly. His passive or his traits marks the enemies and after some time it will become fully marked. To mark an enemy Hoshiguma needs to land at least one ability to an enemy or monster, and when fully marked when landing another skill on the same enemy it will explode and deal more damage. Now his first ability that has two charges and it deals magical damage within the area, his second ability is somewhat interesting he will create four bow in a diamond like shape and you can cast and drag to where you want Hoshiguma to pop off. It basically meant to trick enemies and giving Hoshiguma more time to create opportunities. During this time Hoshiguma is unseen meaning he can't be hit or be damaged by the enemy. His third ability leaves his body and become a wisp like creature. During this time you can only control the creature. The creature can't be damaged or killed but Hoshiguma will be very vulnerable. After a certain duration or if it got recasted it will deal magic damage to the surrounding area of the creature. And Hoshiguma will be teleported to where the creature was last been. Now his ultimate ability. Hoshiguma throws a demon and when it landed to an enemy it will explode and immobilize the target. During this time when the target has allies near it, allies will then attack the target based on Hoshiguma's magical damage. Now my opinion on this new Shikigami, it has a very interesting kit and very fun to play but it lacks the early game damage it needs to win matchups. Unlike other ninja Shikigamis, Hoshiguma needs a little buff, lower his cooldown on his first ability or increase the damage his ultimate provides. He is very squishy so if he can't kill a target in one combo, he will be very be at the disadvantage. He does have many survivability and mobility but if those abilities were to be used to escape, Hoshiguma gets complicated on how to win fights, that is only my opinion and mine alone, I will try to play him more and provide information on how to maximize his kit, that's all for this video and thank you very much, if you somewhat enjoyed this please consider on subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified for the upcoming videos, that's all and see you on the next video.